If you're a renter in New York City, the days of cashing in on pandemic deals are over. Renters in regulated buildings are now facing major hikes for the first time in eight years. The pandemic has been going on for more than two years. Many people have no income without a job and cannot pay rent. If you pay rent, you won't have money to buy food. Council member Shekhar Krishnan of Queens says the proposed rent hike is absurd and insulting, with an ongoing pandemic calling instead for a rent rollback. Tenants, many of whom are essential workers, are struggling to pay their rent, are struggling to stay in their homes. And to propose a rental increase like this will only exacerbate greatly the evictions crisis. Some city council members joined tenants rallying outside City Hall to call on the Rent Guidelines Board and city leaders to remind them the pandemic is not over. It means, uh, you know, I'm on a fixed income, so it means, you know, not being able to buy food, not being able to pay paid the rent. The Rent Stabilization Association representing 25,000 landlords is asking the city council to approve a rent increase of up to 6.5 percent for one year lease and up to 9 percent for a two year lease. 9 percent equals displacement, equals gentrification, equals putting profit over the people lives who built and continue to keep this city intact. That is shameful. Vito Signorelli represents building owners. He's hoping Mayor Adams is on their side because for the last eight years, regulated rent buildings have had a less than 1% increase. He says landlords can no longer cover the skyrocketing maintenance costs. It's not the responsibility of this board to uh, take into consideration financial issues of, of in some income insecure tenants. We believe that the state legislature, the city council, they should be enacting subsidy programs to help tenants offset these rent increases. A final vote is set for the end of June. Calorama, PIX11 News.